JF Stratford Paddock. This is Housen's Brew. I'm doing the intro because Steve's busy. He's got a new tie. Yeah, I'll show you. I'll show you that camera. <laughs> you never guess what year this is from, Jay. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, can all, I can't even imagine. I can't imagine what year Dion Dublin. that could be. Dion Dublin playing for... At Cambridge. Should we, first of all, should we do an intro? Because people are going to be sat here and they want to know what you've got there. They'll yeah. know what year it is, I unless the, the new. But they're thinking, who's this with Housen and Jay? And why are they being rude and not even introducing them to everyone? John's with us. John, welcome. John from OGS Effect. OGS Effect, I don't think his mic's on, or I'm not hearing it if he is. Are we hearing him? Oh. Andy, that. Right, in the meantime, <laughs> cheers, John. Yeah. Right, shut the fuck up, we'll go through this. <laughs> right, look at that. This is the United team that's in it. Some absolute fucking... Go on, go for United team, I'll work out if John's here. mic's actually working. Which well, we and you went through this, didn't we? And I guessed the entire fucking you did content well. of this. Um, who did we struggle on? There was one in there that I was surprised. Um, so you got Lee Martin. It's the next one you're going to say. But I got him. You got him, didn't you? Mal Donaghy, Bruce, Robbo, uh, Clayton Blackmore, Gary Pallister, yeah. Neil Webb. Neil Webb might have been the one. Uh, Ince, Wallace... McClare, Hughes, it might have been Mark Robbins that we should have Yeah, I think you, you might. Lee Sharp, Les Seeley, Mickey Phelan. Look at that. Legends, every single one of them. Why is Rob, is Robbo not there? Can we have a look at that, please? There we go. Yeah, Rob, Robbo's in there. All oh, right, I was about to say, I was about to throw that out the Complete window. Complete collection of the Football League Pro Set 91 night. Steve's been collecting these for 29 years, <laughs> and he's finally completed it the other day. He was missing Lee Dixon. <laughs> This is class. You've got Roy Keane at Forest. It's mad, Looks isn't it? about 11. Because you, you forget where some of these players have, have, have been. Paul Parker at QPR. I mean, that's how, that's how vintage this is. Got Neville Southall there, under 24 stone. Is uh, John's mic working? Do we know? Seems tight. Yeah, it's in that, I think. Speak, John. Hello. Yeah, yeah there we go. There he myself. is. Right, let's do the intro again. To John, John from the OGS Effect. John, thanks, thanks for joining us. Thanks for having me. No not, problem. Not a, not a problem at all, mate. You've joined us at the right time because Steve's yeah. got a new toy, as you can see. Is that your point? I can't see. White side. No more white side. side at Everton. Hey, Reds of a certain vintage would be like twitching in the seat. Listen, Scotty, like. was it thirteen goals in his season at Everton? Oh, mate, done at twenty six. It's a joke, right, isn't it? Hey, big norm. What's that there? Got Leeds, but no right. This is a no joke. Now. How did they win the title? A, should we go through some of the players in this team? Yeah, go on. Right. This is the Leeds team that went on to win the title the next season after this. So John, it's pretty much the same team as you've got there. John Lukic, oh. Mel Sterland. Terrible. Glyn St. Nodin. Never heard of him. Peter Haddock. Yeah, you can't just make shit up. That's a name I'm giving you if I get arrested. <laughs> What's your name? Peter uh, Haddock. Haddock yeah. um, Chris Fairclough. Yeah, I remember him. He was hard. Yeah, he was. Um, Dave Batty. Overrated. Gordon Strachan. He was on that until about 87. <laughs> <laughs> Chris White. Yeah, I remember him. Gary Speed must be about... He was decent, to be fair. Teenager. Yeah, youngster. Uh, John Pearson. No. Gary McAllister. Yeah, I've heard of him. Played for the Scouts as well. Imre Varadi. Do you know what? Imre Varadi went to City. He was at City as well in the 80s. They signed some gaff, didn't they? Yeah. And uh, Lee Chapman. <sighs> now, I remember from when I was growing up, I remember... There's only a few cards I remember. Tony Daly was one. Yeah. Robbo's was one. Obviously. For obvious reasons. Glyn Heisen was one at Liverpool. Ah, uh, yeah. And I don't know why. Maybe it was because he had grey hair. And yeah, you don't see footballers know. with grey hair, do you? Not, Not really. Name one more footballer with grey hair. What, now? Or well, Ravenelli's the obvious Ravenelli one. Yeah. But like, he just had like, he had that at like 22. Yeah. Like, name a, a footballer who had old man grey hair. They don't exist. I can't, I'm struggling. It's not a stressful job, I don't think, most of the times. And plus, you're going to put a the old... Not in the 80s. You put yeah. a bit of the old Grecian 2000 on there, wouldn't you? Yeah. Do you know what I mean? You no, want, if you're not there, Jay, it looks purple. Was you trying to find a colour in between brown and black and come up with fucking purple? <laughs> <laughs> Playing that, you dickhead. Well, I dyed my hair blonde once. When you got navy blue hair? Hey, when I was on drugs. Um, <laughs> <laughs> literally. <laughs> <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> Thought it'd be a good idea to go green fields with blonde hair. Yeah, no, it really look, look really good. Through. Anyway, that's mint. And I'm going to put it away for about five minutes or so. Yeah, then you're going to pick it back up again. Yeah. Um, it's an absolute treasure trove. It is. And I'm glad you got it because I've forgotten about some of these players. And it's always good to look back to that sp sp specific. City's team voted era. Brexit 100%, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> to a man. That's the city sort of area that I used to love, though, when they <laughs> were like that. Shit. Yeah, yeah. When, when they had like shit. barely. 
you know, professional footballers playing for them. I know who you are. Who are you? No internationals whatsoever. Like, it's like night and day now, isn't it? That's how it should have been. Take me back, Jay. I know. It's just like, now it's like 21 wins. What's all that about on the spin? Fucking See the hell. website that someone tweeted us with the other day? No. It's literally got the whole Cup and Cup campaign on it. Oh, yeah. Sorry, I did. Beautiful. It's all right, rabbit hole. In that membership. We'll do, we'll we'll do, do it. The, we'll we'll a, go for every single we'll one of those player. games. If we get a deal, we might do the entire squad. <laughs> <laughs> There's one play we've got to get. We've got to. You're going to make that happen, you are you? That's your fucking main goal in life right now. Well, it was on Monday Night Football this week, wasn't it? Mm. Mm. So we need to get him in here. Talk about them goals. Well, because, that like, goal. I don't know if you saw this at weekend or Monday. Um, there was a huge debate sort of sparked, wasn't there? Usually it was on the telly. A lot of Reds tweeting about him. Reds of a certain vintage mm-hmm. was like, fucking Mark Hughes. Yeah, yeah. Younger Reds was going, that's the old city manager. Oh, <laughs> oh God, no. It's far, far enough, though, isn't it? Because like, when did you leave? 95. So 25 years ago, 26 years ago. I don't think anyone who saw Mark Hughes play in a United shirt doesn't have a high hope of him. How old are you, John? I'm 34 tomorrow, to be fair. Right, happy birthday oh, tomorrow. Thank you. Happy birthday. Um, yeah, so that's about... you. Old enough then to remember Mark Hughes? I, I remember him, Must but it's like a pro- seasons, Yeah, it's going to say last seasons, and I was like sort of youngish sort of mind, so not actually fully like taking appreciation for who he was. Do you know Mark Hughes is like sort of the antithesis of what modern fans or you know younger fans would like? Because if you can't remember someone, you're going to look at the stats, but they will not tell you the full picture of Mark Hughes. If you yeah. look and go, oh, he scored 11 Premier League goals in a season. Mm. But like those were like net breaking goals. He scored in like every time he was in a final. Tap in, I don't think. No, when he was in a final, he scored a goal. That was like his rule. He defined target man for me. Like Joe, yeah. you like you're playing computer games and you go, right, what sort of role am I going to give this player? Yeah. When I click target man, all I can imagine is Mark Hughes holding a back four off with the biggest quads and the shortest shorts that, yeah. the world has ever seen. <laughs> <laughs> what was it you were talking about the other day? Was it the goal against Wimbledon where he he scored? Then threw the ball at one of the defender, keeper. elbowed another defender out of the way, need one out of the way when he's this is and celebrating then, yeah. a goal then, as well. Then smack one. Like, yes. <laughs> <laughs> this is after you'd scored the goal, just went through the team like Fuming. No, that wasn't people. like jokingly celebrating. No. That, that was like assault. Yeah. Back in those days, Wimbledon apparently was like a horrible, horrible place to go. It was just like an old bad fighting. Basically, and United had a pretty strong team back then, didn't we, in terms of people that could have a Scrap. Well, that's what that 94 side was all about. You've probably seen clips on Twitter doing the rounds last couple of weeks, I think, where it's, I think they've titled it like Vinnie Jones versus Roy Keane. Yeah, it's, I think there, you, you know what you can tell with that United team? You can tell, I think, anyway, Fergie's had a word, don't be reacting. Because, all, what want. yeah, because a lot of it, there is a bit where they yeah. re- do react, so it's just ridiculous. Well, the, the Eric Cantona one, he doesn't react, but everyone else does. But I got a theory on why. Was he at Leeds with Vinnie Jones? That's a good question. I don't know. I don't th- think he was. I'll be honest with you. Because I think Leeds got promoted, from what I remember. And then Vinnie well, Jones Vinnie with, Jones with spent... A, I think Leeds got promoted, and then Vinnie Jones left. And Eric came in the, when they were in the, what was Division 1, the top flight. While you're looking that up, because it's obviously great watching people Google things on the phone for the viewers. Um, we've got a super chat. Yeah, he left in 1990, so that's a lot of bollocks. Yeah, so I told you. No, I just I just think <laughs> they'd obviously targeted. He was all well known for kicking off. He's maybe, maybe not even Fergie's had a word. He's Jones just not. hit him about a thigh height. Yeah, but what I love about Eric is he that's gets like straight up. About, he gets straight up, doesn't he? Yeah, definitely. He's up straight away. You watched the 88 Cup final, aren't you, with the Scousers? Yeah. Have you just, just like, ignore the ball. Just watch Vinnie Jones for about 20 minutes. The first one on Steve Pit, McMahon. Yeah, I, I think you've seen that one where Suna sort of just kicks someone and then has the audacity to be like, well, he caught me. Yeah. Yeah. It's like that. that. Yeah. It's like a fucking karate kick. But it, that's, that's nothing. You've seen the one Norman White's had at Anfield no, on Steve care, McMahon. It's, it's, it, he talks about that. You've done the Q&A with him and stuff. He talks about like one of his goals. Basically, we drew through all Anfield. We went down to 10 men. I think it was someone like Gray Mogg or someone got sent off. Forgive me if I'm getting that wrong. Someone got sent off United. Um, anyway, Steve McMahon's kicking everyone. Like, getting away with murder. Is it Anfield? Ref's soft. Obviously, he's kicking everyone except Brian Robson, really. Um, <laughs> for obvious reasons. Norman Whiteside's come on. I don't know if he's in instructions or he's just like, that's the way he is. And he's just done what can only be described as one of the most horrendous tackles anyone's ever done to anyone. Well, Norman Whiteside is 19. <laughs> <Probably>. <laughs> yeah, 12. <laughs> 
<laughs> goes through stone. Steve McMahon, like nearly takes off both his legs, gets booked. It's that bad he got booked for it. And then him and Robert were arguing with the ref. <laughs> it's like, what are you right. arguing for? 1999, that <laughs> Liverpool game, we had it on upstairs the other day. I was telling you, me and Joe was watching it. Yeah. Me, Joe and Baggles was watching it. And we just ended up stopping work and we were just watching the game. And you're going, fucking hell. I don't remember it being this bad. Yeah. Keane gets booked for basically killing Jamie Redknapp, right? <laughs> and then just, fuck off, fuck <laughs> off to the referee. And you're like, <laughs> like, that's assault, brother. Like, you can't do that. <laughs> like there wasn't a standing up tackle in the game. That was what. No, that was, and you know, like them areas. That's what refs used to do because you knew Anfield, even to degree at Old Trafford as well. Look, anything from like you know seventy and whatever onwards to two thousand and four, <laughs> it was going to be a brawl from day. Just let them get on with it. Like that's you've it. got two choices. The mark. Yeah. <laughs> what the fuck yeah. does what, that mean? What's the mark? Yeah. And plus, <laughs> there's no mark in them days. <laughs> You've let everyone get away with everything. It's a bit difficult then to start asserting your authority and go, actually, that's a, no, come on. It's like, hang on a minute. He's just gone through half our team and now you're picking on me. So yeah, I think the ref was just like, you know what, you got to kick lumps out of each other. Yeah, um, and yeah we do. Yeah, basically, <laughs> we'll do that. And the fans loved it. Um, we've got a super chat. Is that Niall Nijal? Niall K- Kie? Um, I think it's just a uh, super chat that doesn't say anything, but thanks for your support. Got any questions? You've got any a question, Niall. Throws a question in. We'll ask you. You want to uh, read it out? Read out one of your questions. I think I don't even know what this is meant to be about the debt in it. But you can you can ask us anything. Well, why are people putting titles on this video? Yeah. I've said to Joe. They have to more than once. And he's in the corner over there. Look at him. He's got one ear cocked. So I know he's. We know what we're talking about him. Fat Jesus in the corner there. He's a, <laughs> right. So hard. I said so to him. <laughs> Horrible, uh, horrible. Just man. title it, we will not talk about transfers no, or modern right. football. I know you have this thing, right, where I'm pretty sure that you're determined to just to sort of, you'd love it if just no one was bothering with titles and videos and trying to get people to watch. But some of us like think, you know what, maybe we might want to get people to watch a video now and again. Right, but don't title it on, <laughs> we do about 40 videos a week, Jay. <laughs> title one of them that. Can I not just, every week. We do. It's Friday, it's four o'clock. We won't talk about anything that you want I to I think hear people about. know. Now and again, right, we'll have a title and it'll say, I don't know, Pogba contract or whatever, because that's the story, breaking story. And if you look at the comments, there'll be like hundreds of comments and there'll be like one person will say like, you've not mentioned Pogba's contract. I think people know when they come on our videos. That so you, you're let's meet not, them halfway though. You're not going to talk about the debt and the glazers or anything. Well, you can do if you want, but I don't think we're going to be going into it extensively. They fucked us in yeah. 2005 yeah. and haven't taken it out since. <laughs> no. And um, that's nicely eloquently put. No problem. And yeah, the update is we're still... And we haven't had lube since 2010. Well, yeah, that's pretty much what Ollie said. Well, not Ollie, what the financial report said. But we have got the fastest growth on TikTok. So I don't know about you, but that's almost as good as the 99 season for me. I saw your tweet. Sounds about right. Can't wait to ch- chant, chant that at the Etihad. Hey, fastest growth on TikTok. You'll never win that. <laughs> um, <laughs> and and Amjal Gosman um, says, glad to see Housen's back. Why is it you have like a day off and everyone loses their minds? Don't know. I lost my mind though. Yeah, you did. <laughs> I'm glad you wanted to say it. I wouldn't have said it, but if you're going to say it, yeah. I've not found it yet. Right. Well, that's yeah. That's been an ongoing saga since that's certainly since I've known you. Uh, will the local fans turn on Ollie if we don't get top four and don't make it to a final this season? I think this is a good question, yeah, John, because I was say, Go on, what you John's no. been very good at this on the social Oldham. media. Oldham. Oldham. Yeah. Where are you from now? Uh, well, I was I was born down in Dulwich, but I was in Fit and Ill when I was a kid, and then just here and there from. Around the Oldham areas. I don't think you sound like Oldham. No. No, I'm just very. I, I, most of my mates call me posh because my uh, my old man. Posh no. <laughs> I thought you were Mank. Yeah. Like, no. I'm not the Oldham. I, I know Oldham's Greater Manchester. No, but about it's, some, got a, it's got a re- thing about yeah, it. Yeah. I used to swing around Oldham a little bit. I used to have a mate. No, well, my, f- my foster dad's Scottish and in very prim and proper, so like he wouldn't allow me to go and say like buzz, buzz or <laughs> he'd yeah. be go it, like buzz. butter. He'd be like it's butter, John, and butter. Give me some butter. Oh. Whereabouts in Oldham? Uh, I live not far away from Limeside. Oh, all right. Crime side, or Crime whatever you want to call it. It was sure I used to go drinking around and Royan. Yeah, well, I, I used to go down to Royan quite a lot. Yeah, yeah. Nice, nice place, Oldham. If you <laughs> all right thanks I'll, I'll 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 take that as a compliment i guess listen 
It was all right when I used to go around there, but it's been a little while. Peter Kelly in the Super Chat says, was watching Premier League years 07 08 this week. I'd say 15 teams that season would have finished top six nowadays, but how min was that team? Yeah, I agree with you. Go, going back to what we were asking you, sorry, John. Yep. We're asking you about yep. Ole. You've been quite vocal on oh, yeah. on the social media in sticking up for Ole, in highlighting the fact that, you know. Yeah, did a good video. Really. Thank yeah, you. That, um, well, go on. I'll let you explain. Where do you stand on Ollie and what do you think about some of the criticism he's been getting and the results we've been having? I think the criticism to sort of say, um, a legend is is remarkable because you know what he's done for us in the, in the past. You know, we like to talk about the past here, and um, yeah, it's true. now and again, uh, exactly. I, <laughs> well, I think that he's unjustified by what he gets. I've always said that you know if you're being taught by the best, you should be like taking him on like I always said that we wanted I wanted Jose because he could beat Sir Alex Ferguson and you know we got him and we didn't get the right Jose you know we got a wish version of Jose to be fair he's well fell off on it oh yeah yeah it's a shame because I'm with you on that me and you did a video didn't we when he was living with us and we were like we're all right with this if this happens probably yeah. not gonna lose an own game yeah which this you know it's gonna be two three years of madness but we'll win things during that time mm -hmm. and then he'll you know he'll have a meltdown and go Okay, we'll probably get a title out of it. Not far off. Yeah, which other yeah. than the title bit was pretty much what happened. Well, he was calling everything a title, wasn't he? Yeah. Charity Shield, that's a fucking title. Mate, the best one was that <laughs> at Stockholm. <laughs> I was like, Shit, Mate, on, no. David Moyes won the Charity Shield. Unless you sit it, no one counts that. Sean yeah. Kenny's got a super chat. Oh, look oh, okay, at you doing the yeah, Go on then. Well, yeah, right. I'm, I'm impressed it's not like right. with the man yeah. right fair enough uh, it says hi lads just in hospital waiting to get surgery after a machinery accident right Sean gonna have to have more details on this please yeah I need to know about this what um, machinery accident and whose fault was it um, is there a claim yeah is there a claim <laughs> where's the blame yeah, yeah. I've got and, a number um, if you need one yeah we'll, we'll sort you out um, loving the content all season definitely kept me going during a re recent difficult period uh, keep it up lads up the fucking reds Glad to hear that, mate. I hope it's not too serious. Well, obviously it's serious. You're having surgery, but it's, you know, I hope everything works out I want out you to okay. describe it to me, like the opening scene of Casualty. We're going to say it's going to be his bottom, because he's typing in it, he's texting. So, so it's going to be his least, bottom half. Yeah. You never know, though. He might have lost a thumb. Well, yeah, he could He could have just... He could hey, Siri, off. tell the lads. Yeah. Oh, shit. <laughs> 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 Um, one of the things you mentioned, John, which people don't like to talk about on the video you did was about the decisions that have gone against us, um, you know, the oh. fact that ah, there has been, because people don't like to talk about that, but it has been a, a thing. Ongoing, ongoing yeah, yeah, you know, we have had some quite a few decisions recently that haven't gone our way, that were going our way. Things that in retrospect, the Sheffield United game, for example, oh. where it was actually a state, we got that one wrong. Do you think that... And people still say, can't moan about that. Yeah, but why? Well, like, gone off, sure. Yeah. At the same point, when they've admitted that they've done it wrong, yeah. we can. It's literally like black and white, there it is. Like, we're writing it down for you. We, we messed up. Why Why do you think that is, right? Because when, years ago, we'd be all over that as a fan base. That sense of injustice, that sense of the refs had us over, it's not fair. Mm -hmm. Now it seems like sort of a lot of fans, a lot of our fan bases, would it dismiss that and just go, well, that doesn't matter. Like you just said then, we should have won anyway. Well, like, oh, we should have beat Chelsea anyway. Well, why? I think the, the fan base is fractured as fuck at the moment. And I think a lot of that's because, um, you know, I'm still in group chats with the lads that sit around me in the same block at Stratford End and stuff like that. But it's, it ain't the same. No. And I, I said this the other day, like, I had to have a few days off and, you know, I'm, I'm still going to be dipping in and out a little bit. I'm missing football because, yeah. and this isn't, don't make this a fucking... Yo, if you're local and go to the game, you're better. I'm not saying that, and I've never said that, and it's not something I believe either. But for me, that the the routine of the match day and the people that I speak to on a match day is part of my match day thing, and it has been for 31 fucking years. That's a thing that I do, and it's something that, I'm, all right, everyone's had something gone fucking launched up in the air. A lot of people have lost their jobs and lost their loved ones. Yo, I can't go to the game. Uh, right? No, but what's going on for you is going on for you, yeah. isn't it? Do you know what I mean? But the the whole match day thing, and I know I'm not alone in this. Like my uncle came around yesterday and went, I ain't watching United. He's not watching on the telly. He's not watching on the telly. No, okay. So he goes, I ain't seen United in a year. He's just like it's sort of old Trafford or bust for him. Yeah. Sort of thing. I All or nothing. That. Yeah. All or nothing. I've yeah. got you know, there's a there's a couple of people who are of, of a similar thing like that. You know what I mean? Like we spoke to a few people who were just like What I was the game the other day like, where you go is, Someone said me. it, I think Alex might have said it or 
maybe it was Joe that said it, and he said there was one of the games that we had recently. I think we didn't win, but we might have drawn. And I think we said it's not like us. No. We'd have come out of that and gone, "How's was that right?" Because yeah. you'd have had a good time at the game. I can't remember what fucking game it was, but it was bang on whoever said it. And I think that watching through TV disconnected, you sort of maybe go to social media to go back and all that shit. Whereas you you know you, you have a thousand <laughs> tweets yeah. of that. Yeah. You have a thousand tweets of that, and it looks like this is a fucking yo know, a mad thing that's happening. Whereas. If I see you two at the ground and go fucking out of shit. Like yeah. That. Yeah. I'm, I'm, yeah. It's different, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, because you're yeah. talking like between yourselves, aren't you? And stuff like that. When I, I'm like, I can get it out of my system in the ground. Do you know what I mean? Or as I'm coming out. I'm not, you know. I'll turn back to my car or whatever, uh, or on my. the tram. Yeah, whatever. Yeah, do you know what I mean? And also, the games are affected. People forget that. The games, the intensity and everything is affected by the fact. There's no way some of those games are a bit the way they were. They're like training sessions. 100%. You, can, you, you hear the uh, commentators say it. It's like a game for the uh, coaches. Yeah. And if that's well, the it's last just not, three nil nils I've had anyway. Yeah, no, you're right. There's just not that urgency that you get. That you know when it's like you feel like that the fans are beyond you now for the last ten minutes. The last ten minutes against Sheffield United, do you think we were winning? Yeah. Do you imagine it's Old been, Trafford was packed and you two one down at Sheffield United? Everyone would be going berserk. Yeah. I, I remember recent games under Louis and Jose. Was it Middlesbrough under Jose? The fucking place just lifted because yeah. we were I think we were drawing towards the end or maybe even one down towards the end. And it just yeah, the, it. The levels go up. People understand it, and I know the players vibe off that. Of course, yeah. it's the atmosphere, isn't it? Like just because we might be in the ground, even the players got that atmosphere. Like when they walk out, they say they, they say it, don't they? They uh, walk out on the Old Trafford pitch, and that atmosphere that you get, you know, I, I, when I every time I walk into the into the stadium, my heart flutters, and you're like a little bit of nerves drop as yeah. you're getting towards the uh, the times kick off. Feels real. Even as, even watching on the telly without fans there, you know, I don't do aways very often anymore. Anyway. I used to, but when you watch, so I, you know, I've always watched like for the last few years anyway. I've watched the ways on the telly more than I've been there, but it's lively. You can you can hear the United mm -hmm. fans, you can right. hear it going off, and when yes. you're watching it, and there's just silence other than the players chatting. Yesterday, Derby QPR playoff final was on. Do you know the one where it was won in like 89 45 with uh, Zamora scoring? Oh, yeah, 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 right. Obviously, Wembley's going fucking nuts, yeah. I was captivated watching it, yeah. and I think uh, I think Deji was in there. It was only me, yeah. Deji, and who was in yesterday? Was it Will? Might have been Will. Me, Deji, and Will, and I was like, "This is fucking men." Yeah, I was yeah. like, "Do you remember when we used to be fans in?" Yeah. <laughs> 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 fucking quality, look at it. Go on. And then last four minutes or whatever it was, with Derby are trying to fucking yeah. get it back. You're like, "Go on, you bastard!" That's mad. That they had um, they had Red in Swansea play a final, and I was the same the other day. It was only me in. <laughs> so we all watched in Reading v Swansea in like 2011 or something into it as fuck yeah no, knowing what happened yeah and going oh, oh. <laughs> remember when Scott Sinclair was good um, we've got some super chats I'll just go through them quickly Mike uh, says how good and underrated was John O'Shea uh, probably captain if he starts now great player John O'Shea we'll have to get him on the channel actually we were going to get him on a few well just before lockdown we'll try and make that happen done yeah. Message on Instagram. yeah we'll get we'll try and get him on was, it, good to was it Figo that you nutmeg Not, mate he's got the best show reel <laughs> Ever. Well, it was a, a bet, wasn't it? I was it? It was a bet amongst the players. Like, could he get X number of nutmegs in a season? Really? He, after he got, like, three, it was like, can you get 20 nutmegs in a season or something like that? And then, obviously, we played... Was it when he was at Real Madrid? Um, yeah, I think it was when he was at Real Madrid. Yeah, I think so. And he so. fucking megs feet. I can't even remember now. And I think that's when Fergie found out about the bet and was like, you can fuck that right. <laughs> yeah, can you imagine? <laughs> <laughs> can you imagine that to me? <laughs> Cups of, tea, <laughs> cups of tea getting launched at him in the <laughs> You're room. literally taking the piss while playing for United because of a bet. I mean, it is Min, though. Not Megan Figo. And all the other stuff we did, like going in goal and oh, actually, clean sheet. about that, yeah. But Spurs won it. Um, the goal against Arsenal. Last minute win at the Cop. Was that on. the best Premier League game? That's a good question. There's, was there right. not? I'm going to... I'll rephrase that. Can you name me a better Premier League Which game? was his goal against Arsenal? That wasn't the Champions League, was no, it? No, it was the 4-2. Right. Right. I was on guard right. at the time. I, I only got in at about six or seven minutes past eight. So I missed the whole tunnel shit. And I, I didn't right. know that had happened with yeah, Keane yeah. and with Neville and mm. Vieira and all that lot. So I just sit down and it just goes bosh. And it's fucking mad end-to-end -end game. And I remember going, was it 4-2 I think it ended? Yeah. This is fucking unbelievable. Ronaldo score or Shea score? Is that the one that did? No, it's not, is it? It's not the one where, that's not the Saul Campbell sending off one, is it? I was in a blue kit. Yeah. There was a the way. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, it's, I mean, those games against Arsenal were unreal. My favourite one was the one where we ended there on being run. You talk about Liverpool games being rough. We absolutely kicked them all over the pitch. And what made even better was Rooney gets the softest penalty ever. 
It was a dive joke. <laughs> yeah. So I'm being diplomatic. Right. It was, it was a blatant dive. dive. Yeah. A dive. After we'd absolutely battered him, literally. And then, uh, yeah, we get we get the decision, which is fantastic. And it's a great atmosphere as well. Um, also in the Super Chat, um, Yuri Nater says, Yuri Nater, I like it. Uh, will we sign anyone? Or will, will the owners be assholes again? Cheers for your Super Chat. We don't answer them questions, do they? No comment. Um, the owners are shit, <laughs> and they'll just cons consistently bullshit us, in my opinion. Um, Sirium Bala says, hope you lads are doing well. Sorry for the random queue, but a couple of weeks ago, Steve talked about a striker we're looking at in the Prem, and just curious if you lads have got any hint for, hints for us. Ha ha. Oh, uh, no. Does that mean no, because you're not going to tell us no, you can't remember, or no? No, I know exactly what it is. Can you not just give us a little clue? He plays in the Premier League. So it's a he. Right, all right, that'll do for now. Does he have legs? <laughs> See, we're narrowing, it, we're narrowing this down, John. We're getting there. I thought so. Yeah. It's like 20 questions. Hang on a minute. Hang on. One, like, one final question. Does he play for a club other than Manchester United? Yes. All right. We've narrowed it down there. I think everyone can work out who that is. Definitely. He's an academy player. For, for United? No. Nope. Right. <laughs> <laughs> at an academy. Yeah. Is he still at the club where he's at the academy? He has moved. Oh. But maybe he's not. Right, okay. So he could or couldn't have moved from yeah. the academy team. He may or uh, may not have also been on loan at some point as well. Right, I think I know that is. <laughs> <laughs> Never is it down, definitely. Yeah. Uh, Derek Best says... He what scored this season. I should hope so. We're linked with him. <laughs> like, we're linked with the strike. He's not scored this season. Uh, Derek Best says, what referee decision are you guys still not over? Mine is Nannies versus Madrid in 2013. That is a very good shout. And it's it's potentially one of mine. Yeah. Although it's not. I've got a different one. It's it's a, it's a You'll know what it is as soon as I tell you what it is. It, the, it's the linesman's flag. Yeah. I don't even remember that, John. Porto. Yeah. 04. Jose's Porto. Offside against Chelsea. Drogba. Mm, yeah, that's a bad one. It's a title, isn't it? The, the, was it even Newcastle or Portsmouth? I think it was Newcastle. The Rio gave a penalty away and we lost and went out of the FA Cup. Oh, no, that might have been the... That's Portsmouth. Right, well, there was a Newcastle game. I think we'd have got 19 it, no, out of 19 Rio, yeah. if it weren't for... Did we draw what all us at home with, with Newcastle? I think it was in 2008. And it was the only time we dropped points at home that season in the league. Something like that. Right. It did my head in. It's funny, isn't it? Yeah, um, we'd usually win. 18 out of 19, which is fucking annoying. <laughs> I don't know if, like, does anyone else get proper fucked off with um, I do. <laughs> <laughs> I get more annoyed when we get knocked out of European or Champions Leagues yeah, for well. stupid decisions that stop us from basically winning it, well, which is shit, what happened against Porto. Shit defending pisses me off. To the extent, I got Will to clip up a couple of goals we conceded in December for Paddock. Go on. And sent them to Cam and was like, do you want to fucking talk me through this? <laughs> <laughs> We, we, we won the game. <laughs> That's nice, isn't it? We won the game, but I'm going to clip up these videos of poor defending and, and get you to talk, talk me through them. Three months later. Months later. I'm that, not over it, Jay. So Sounds like a Fergie trait. That's Chucky said he, he used to be like that. Um, Paul Madison in Super Chat says, I became a fan in the 90s and followed through monthly mags and Canadian TV. I live near the US-Canadian border. I love hearing all your memories of pre-2004. Let's see with John if my... Favourite player thing holds up. So you, when was your first game? My first game was the um, FA Cup, Wimbledon versus Man United at Old Trafford. What year? Uh, I think it might have been 96. I'm not 100% sure. Um, I, re I remember it was being a, being a, a draw and Cannon and I got booked for diving. I, um, that can't happen much. No. It, to be fair, I, I remember it that he actually got pushed over, but you know the way that he probably slid that the referee was just like, nah, he's just getting booked. And then I, th I think Poporski was um, absolutely took out, and nothing got even. So that would have been ninety six, ninety seven season. I, yeah. I think it was a replay as well, actually. To be fair, if I, if I remember so this right, is well hard, this. yeah, so it's been a while. I'm gonna <laughs> have a guess that your favorite player is either Dwight York or David Beckham. It would it would have been David Beckham I, and. I, obviously, Solskjaer is... I was going to say, Ollie's got to be in a mix there because yeah. that was his sort of... Well, it's his first season, Mate, wasn't it? This is the flawless... What is your... Tell everyone, back. some people watching go, what are you on about? Explain what your theory is and why that relates to what John's just told so, you. So, I haven't met anyone that this doesn't work with yet. Right, okay. So, 
I can predict that your favourite player is usually uh, someone prominent in the team. Very often a goal scorer. Right. Uh, but not always a goal scorer. Two years or so from when you first started watching. So I think that first couple of years when you start going, yeah, you, it's all new. You don't really start forming any sort of like favourites and stuff like that. Joe's looking on it. I want to know if this applies to Joe. So Joe's going to tell us. You can't hear him. But when was your first game, Joe? 98. 98. Who's your favourite player? Well, he's got a guess. Oh, right. Sorry. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm just, he's just <laughs> pointing out that just Steve's got a guess. Answer. So Joe can't tell me and not tell Steve. Right. Go on then. You guess what Joe's... Sorry? What? Yeah, his favourite player. So Joe first went in 98. How old were you then, Joe? Uh, five. He was five, glory on her. Why weren't you going when you were two? Right, I'm going to say Rude Van Nistelrooy. Correct. He's going with Rude Van Nistelrooy and he's got it. Yeah, Joe said correct. I mean, yes, it's very good theory, but it's also an obvious one. No, not necessarily. Well, of course it is. It's just a kid, you go to the match, who scores goals. Two you, years you, you after, like, though. He two likes Oli. He liked Rude. Is he like four years after? Did you get mine, though? Uh, yours is Robbo. It, yeah, it was sort of. But it wasn't <laughs> so really. It wasn't wrong, really. It? <laughs> <laughs> All right, it, hang on. Mark Hughes. No, it's actually when I was. What, when you growing up? And when I was growing up, it was Paulins. But you, we you know, discussed this. Actually, yeah, but Robbo Paul was Ince the was, first one. Robbo right. was probably uh, sorry. Paulins was probably one of the first. I was like, oh, because he was yeah. quite flashy. He caught the eye, didn't he? Yeah, because me and you've all well, discussed this. Long fucking thighs and the shortest of shorts. Yes, and I think Paulins gets tired of that brush that. No well, disrespect to Paulins, but yeah, he went to he ends up at Liverpool. He doesn't do himself any favors on BT. I mean, I actually think he's, he's hilarious because some of the things <laughs> he comes out with. Yeah. I mean, you know, like you see when he definitely. put his kid down, when he put his son down, his son was like, "I was better than you, Dad." And he was like, "You fucking man, play for Liverpool United and Milan, shut the fuck up." <laughs> <laughs> he's like, "Would you play for Luton and Blackpool?" Oh, fuck oh. off. <laughs> yeah, Blackpool under you as manager, Dad, <laughs> stopping you from getting sacked for a bit. <laughs> Cheers. Um, Siriam Bala sorry I'm really struggling to see that can make him any bigger uh, not expecting an answer but think it's a lad who scored against us in the last minute recently cheers lads absolute legends UTFR up the up, up, reds um, I know who you're saying there Peter Kelly says does this striker sound like Barry Main he's not going to get I mean I hope he does because I'd love to know I'm pestering him because I don't even know this was a thing so I'll ask him off camera as well, and if I find out, I'll tweet it. <laughs> <laughs> hey, don't worry, I've got you covered. <laughs> so it's on almost. Like, let me know in the comments. Yeah, Do give you us, give us your year. You don't have to be. You don't have to have gone to the game. Your year, your first time you remember watching Manchester United. Notch says seventy-seven, and he started going. Yeah. So let's see if I can get Notches then. So seventy-seven. I know who I, it is. I think it's Robbo. I've no. I'm gonna go with Stuart Pearson. Seventy-seven. Yeah, because it's not when you go. It's a few years beyond when you go. We signed Robbo at 81. Yes, I think right, so. So he's either Robbo or someone I can't picture in about it 80. Might, it, like might Ray be, Wilkins. it might be someone like Ray Wilkins. Joe Jordan, maybe, or something like that. Should, oh, hang on. Go on. No, I thought it was Notch that said it, but it's not. It was Joe that said it. Yeah. So go on. Let me know who it was, Notch. Yeah, I'm, I don't know. I think it was Stuart Pearson. It might be Stevie Coppel or something like that. I don't know. Um, Steve Coppel, he says. <sighs> well, when did Coppel go? I think he got, he got that injury, didn't he, in like 80, was it? 79, maybe. Hmm. Yeah, because he did his... He did he played... Say that again. Sorry, say it louder. Sorry, I've got someone in me. I just said Steve Koppel. You just read that out. I, 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 I guess Steve Koppel, and then he and read it out. Sorry, just for a bit of context. Head. We've got a producer who seems to have fallen asleep during this show, and has just repeated what me and Steve just said, and told us we got it wrong. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Sorry to keep you awake there, Carl. When's Cam back in? I never thought I'd say them words. I'm not joking. You do a great job. Um, yeah, I mean, it does make sense, your theory. I just think I just think it's, yeah. Pinch Weasel's on a similar one to me. 92 is his first game and it's the king. Yeah, man was 90. Like, you know, you go through a little bit of, quite like Robbo, quite like Do you Collins, Do you incorporate, because right, you're, sharp. do you incorporate oh, any, you, yeah. any of your dad's feelings in this? Like, do, do you, if your dad had a favourite, did that bother you? Because I liked Robbo, because my dad liked Robbo when I was like, oh, Robbo. And also, he was quite famous I don't know, when I was man. little. I don't remember my dad ever being, like, proper about any of the new ones. Yeah. He was Dennis Law and shut the fuck up. Yeah, well, that's <laughs> an hard one, so I keep it. Like, <laughs> how, many, how many goals has this guy got? Mate, Dennis Law got 40 <laughs> in the season. Sit down. How many ball on doors has he got? Sit down. Yeah. That's no, a good I don't point. actually remember my old man ever really talking about players, apart from the law man, really. Never even spoke about George Best much. Do you think that with that, John? Because you say Ole Gunnar Solskjaer, you know, you revere him as a player. Mm -hmm. 
you don't think he gets enough respect no. because of what he does as a player. Do you think that goes against him because people say he's only in this job because he's a player? Do you, he's only, you're only being nice to him because of what he did as a player? Or do you think just as a manager, he deserves respect for what he's done as a manager? Are you happy with what he's done as a manager? Well, he hasn't done anything specifically bad as a manager. You know, all managers have the times where they make a mistake or what have you, and that's just a human trait, isn't it? But I obviously look at what he did as a uh, player. You know, it's a special moment, 99. But obviously you see... 20 Legend was before he retired. Yeah, exactly. That wasn't when he came back. No, that was yeah. before he, he fucked off. That's just, you can see it... Up. I can't hear myself. Oh, you're all right. We can hear. Okay. Yeah, sweet. Don't worry. Uh, so, It'll be your headphones. All right. No worries. Uh, so obviously, with that point, um, I feel that you look on Twitter that there is disjointed with that because they they turn around and go, "Well, he's only got the job because he got a toe poke in '99." <laughs> right. Do those, do those accounts have a player's fucking photo? I'd probably say 99.9999999 percent. Yeah. And there you go. Exactly. All right. Is this toe poke thing. What's that all about? What's that mean? It's tapping because, because so that pal. ignores like the rest of the umbel. He's one of the best finishers I've ever seen. Yeah, we've it, got one of the best finishers I've ever seen as well. Coming on the podcast with Rio next week. We talked about clinical and Oliver Solskjaer was, it, it was like clinical. Like. Dude, Van Bistelroy. Shut up. Yeah, man. Really? At what? fucking half seven in the morning. It is. Oh, oh, my heart bleeds. <laughs> Poor you. Oh, what are you all right? Do you want another brew? You've got to get up uh, early to interview probably the greatest striker the Premier League's ever seen. I've interviewed Reed once in a, in a mix zone. How was it? He was a bit touchy, right? Because not in a like it's Reed Van Nistelrooy, and we're in a mix zone. It was after one of the UNICEF games, or whatever. And me and Don McGuinness were sort of pallied up at Talk Sport. I'm like, I said, I'll get Rude. We'll get Rude together. Like, did a, I'll ask him? And it was when Rooney was linked with leaving one of the times. So <laughs> so you asked him a transfer question. Yeah. So I, I thought I'm going to get him. Yeah, I'm going to get him on Rooney. <laughs> so I, I asked him about Rooney and said, like, you know, you know what it means to play for United, and you're surprised or do you expect him to stay? And he, he wasn't actually just he sat on the fence and then yeah. I asked the follow up because I wanted, I thought I can't use any of what you just said because he said nothing. Yeah. Like it was just completely meaningless. So I just pressed him a little bit more about the fans at Old Trafford and United loving a striker, and he was a little, you know, he was a bit more open about that because I sort of softened it a little bit, just made it more about him than Rooney. But no, it was great. But. I still had this thing, mate, and I still get it now. I'm not gonna lie. People, I, I always think we're in a really privileged position. I always say that because we get to meet sometimes and talk to our heroes, and you know, I'm a fan first and foremost. So I still get that little thing of like, <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, real or whatever. So I do get like that sometimes with certain players, especially and Ruben Van Nistelrooy was definitely one of them. And I was 100%. like, you know, I was 30 year old man going, <laughs> I, think he's the, uh, I love you. I think he's the under 18s manager at PSV at the minute. Oh, is that? So I'm assuming he's doing us before training. I think that's why we're getting it. Uh, but I'm the same with, like, yo, fucking Rio. I know. And, yo, the other night watching the game, he's in the group chat, like a demon in the group chat. And, like, to the point, there's, there's a couple of us in here in the group chat. And I was like, I think this is his go to group chat for, like, that's when a match is on. I'm like, that's mad if it is. It's mad. I guess like half of the players that he played with are probably like coaching or working or something when there's a game on, so maybe it is. But I was pressing him the other day, and this is a, an absolute privilege and a treat and something that I definitely rinse, which is we were talking about coaching, and I, I started asking him about differences between Rennie and Carlos because they're both seen as amazing, but they're both seen as entirely different. And I was like... Talk to me about the differences. Talk to me how it worked. Blah, 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 blah. And I hit him with that many questions. He went, oh, fuck it. And he sent me a two-minute long voice memo just, like, detailing the differences between how this one works and how that one worked. And he was like, you're with Rene. Shit, yeah, we were well successful. But when you look at the analysis, and this is why I know Rio would make a mint coach. Yeah. Because not only was he good, but he looks at why as well he doesn't just go oh, fuck it man like he looks at why I know what he did when it came to you know if he was playing against City this weekend they'd be like I want 15 minutes of just what's Jesus doing on his left foot what does he do on his right foot show me the movements he does in the build ups like where does he stand do this and over he's told us that's what he does but he would say like when you looked at the analysis we was conceding like 15 16 chances a game and we had to tighten it up he goes, we might have been winning games. And he don't even go, yeah, because we were men. He was like, we might have been winning games, but the, anal the underlying analysis was like we shouldn't have been and we had to sort of tighten it up. He goes, at times, he goes, even though it was class and like very expansive and loved being on the ball with Rene, he said, him and the boss, they're both gung-ho. He goes, so it's mental at times. He goes, whereas Carlos was always safety first and then we'll work through the patterns and that. That's mental. 
uh, two and a half minutes of him just like. Just Why have you not forwarded that to me? <laughs> <laughs> I'll just listen to it on repeat. Um, we've got a super chat from Uma Khan says, 20, we're 21, I get my words out, year old fan, watching United since 07. Good going, son. Uh, only fan in my family, never been to a match, lived 30 minutes away, missed five matches since 2012. Am I less of a fan? No, and I'm not good by it. There's one, something like get a bit conflated. I don't think anyone's less of a fan for not going. I think it's a different experience if you go. And obviously, you're always going to reference the fact that we go to the games and stuff mm -hmm. like that because part of my experience of being a fan has been at some of these games. So I'm always going to mention that. But I don't think that makes you less of a fan. And also, I'm, I've got a free pass for that. I had a dad who was a Mad United fan. And I grew up walking distance from Old Trafford. Mm -hmm. I got took to the games even if I didn't want to go, which I did. Mm -hmm. So it's not quite well, easy for me. So I'm not going to judge helps, people that live I further away that didn't. Yeah. It, it was when you was taken, it wasn't a choice and you kind of it might be Stockholm syndrome. I might have grown to love it. I might yeah. not have gone well, voluntarily. I, I'm I'm the same, like you know, my daughter, not, my eldest daughter started in the going. First instance, anyway. Um and my, my lad, he, he will be going. I took Jason at fourteen months. Yeah. Well I, I, you know what I took it's funny because my daughters both my daughters have been. My daughter my youngest when she was a baby and my eldest has been quite a few times actually. She's been about eight, ten times no, eight, I don't know, eight, nine, ten times, whatever. Not took my lad yet, because he was a bit I thought he's a bit too young and he'd be a bit hyper, but now I think he's ready to go. And like you say, now, nah, whether he wants to or not, he's going. See, I was the opposite. My 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 parents didn't even like football, I didn't like anything like that. Like my my foster dad is F1 snooker. Right, so, okay. Like the actual only reason why I supported Manchester United at first was because my, my foster mum said, you know that George Best? One of the best players in the world. And he can put his sh shoes under my bed anytime. <laughs> <laughs> and ever then, I've been a Man United fan. So. Who did so, you first go to the game with? Um, it would have been my um, mum's friend's husband. So, uh, and that was that the FA Cup game. And to be fair, I'd uh, done something. I don't know what I'd done. I might bang my head or something. And or actually, no, I was it. I was I was not well, and I had cowpole. My mum went, "Go and get some cowpole." And I, I looked at the thing, and he went, "Tablespoon, tablespoon, or teaspoon." And I just went, "Meh, tablespoon." <laughs> and then I, I was just like this, oh, I zombified, and I'm just watching the game like. Reminds me a lot under of the that. influence of cowpole. <laughs> my experience watching United for. Many years. <laughs> well, that's what it feels like right now, to be fair. I won't lie. <laughs> uh, Ross Murphy, friend of the channel, says, Stephen Housen rate John Mustache out of 10. Thumbs John's up. Mustache. <laughs> it's kind of a beard, like, it's, it's not just dog tash, is it? it? Yeah, it's got like a little Some beard going on there. You commit yeah. to going and just like that. Yeah, that's, that's it, it takes that's a couple good. every every like, other day that I have to like bring that back down or it just looks like a bush again. Very good. Uh, Luke Eborn says, Steve, mine's probably easy. First season... 09 stroke 10, not Wazza. RVP. Could be, yeah. I was thinking your mate, Berber, but yeah, you're probably right. Let us know. You don't have to, just let us know in the chat. Um, Carl, you can try and dig that out if you can find that one with your replies. Find the answer. Cheers, brother. Benito, let's loop it back on that. Benito says, late to the party here, but Matt Hughes is an amazing player. So that literally was the opening statement on this thing, was talking about, yo, know, where is he in terms of being a legend for Manchester United? See, people have this thing with me because I criticised Michael because he went, it's not just because he went to City, Andy Cole went to City, I ain't got a problem with that. Dennis Law went to City. Sorry, say that again, Cal. It was Van Persie, you got it right, Steve. Um, and on on the um, the Dennis Law one, someone mentioned that in the comments earlier, I just couldn't be asked addressing it then, but now might as well because cool it's, it's come up. How can you know, it be Dennis Law when he relegated? He didn't relegate us. We could have won that game 10-0. We still got relegated. Yeah, right. I mean, it, the thing with Dennis Law as well is, this isn't like nowadays where you're going to retire at 34 and have about 60 million in the bank and be just cool. Maybe I'll do a bit of TV for 5 million a year if I can be asked. This was like, that's you out of work. And if you haven't got a pub, I don't know what you do. You become a manager pretty much. Yeah. Those players couldn't live off nothing. And he was offered another football contract. Docky didn't want him. Docky didn't want him anymore. Yeah, and he didn't he didn't have to move house. Yeah. Jobs are good. Enough. No, I'm not. This is an era as well. It's just different. You can't really compare. Yeah, it's different. I mean, in around that time, probably a little bit after this time, but not that far off. Some people used to go main road one week, old traffic the next. My it was, says. Yeah, it wasn't unheard of. I think this is probably a little bit past that, but it's not that far away, if you get what I'm saying. Now, you're not going to do that now, are you? That's he, just he said in the of. 50s and 60s, he said they had a spot that they used to stand at Main Road. And I remember when I throw people thinking about it. But again, it's different. It's yeah. a different thing. He said, 
you didn't travel to a ways because if you wanted to go to London, that's a four day fucking adventure. <laughs> like, because you're not going to watch United in London. Uh, and also, you know, you're not streaming the game, are you, to watch some no. football? No. Oh, I'll just stream this foot. No, no you, you go to the game and watch it. You don't watch any football today. No, it's that simple. If you didn't have radio. a telly at home, yeah. which was oh, normal. radio, yeah. Yeah, yeah. You, you ain't seeing that game. He goes, so there was a, a group of lads, there's like 25 lads, he goes, like, we all work together. He goes, half was United, half was City. And just like it would be now if you was watching a match down the pub, giving your city mates some shit, or mate, because you're not going to have loads of them, are you? No. But, like, but you would sit with mates who support other... Like, it's not that tribal, is it? No. no. Apart from on a match day, like when you're playing them. Yeah. But if it's just like, I don't know, City playing Fulham, and my only other way to watch football this week is to hang out with my mates I hang out with, and it's not like now where you'd go in the ground and disappear. Yeah. You walk in together, you stand together. That's your spot. Yeah. I'm there mm -hmm. every week. Yeah. And then next week, we'll be in the same spot with like five or six City lads and we'll be watching United. And you can't compare that to now. Because no. now, give me the choice. I mean, I like watching City just for the 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 technical aspects of watching City. Right, fair enough. And if they start getting like three or four goals to the good, I fuck that shit off. Yeah. But... That's three or four goals <laughs> later than I do. <laughs> <laughs> but like, you, there, there just wasn't... That option, I mean, nowadays it's madness, and it? it's a game on at six, a game on at eight. Like, you can watch football all night, it's mad. Yeah, yeah. this is like flip through any channel, like, there's different like there's regions, everything. It's like. just insane. Yeah, like, I can watch German football, I can watch French football, I can watch football from fucking Brazil if I want to. It's just that didn't happen in the 50s and 60s. Nope. If it was like, there's a game on, and we like that game, let's go to that game. Yeah. It's, it's just a different thing and you know the Dennis Law thing like I said he didn't relegate us no, no. no and, and this is the thing like the reason I have some sad beer with Michael is he went to City and then took the mick out was when the United fans when we went there we got beat and he was cartwheeling in front of us celebrating right. in front of us as a City player that's right. why people like myself have a bit of a thing with Schmeichel appreciate he's a club legend for what he did as a player but well in my eyes he's not as much of a legend because of what he did post um, post Neville leaving United as well in the, in the yeah well I think room. never that's right room. he didn't want to shake his hand why not um, Peter Kelly in the Super Chat says, mine was 0809, Middlesbrough at home, Berber winner. So I'm guessing, is that, is that you saying that Berber's? Yeah, first game. All oh, right, so he's, well, yeah, let us, do you reckon his Berber's is? I would have said Rooney. Let us know, Peter, who your, uh, who your favourite player was at that time. It's good to see Rooney at that minute. Um, I'm picking up a lot from Rooney at Derby. You've got your mate there, haven't you? Apart from that, <laughs> um, but if you have you been clocking the set pieces? No, I haven't. I'm not like you, mate. Really? Go and have a look. Yeah. yeah. Go and look at some of the derby goals, especially when they went on that fucking mad run, didn't they? Yeah. Came in just like set pieces. Rooney might be a bit of a low key, unless he's got a coach that he brought in, and yeah. we're just giving the credit to Rooney for it. But like that, because like knowing how bad United are at set pieces, mm -hmm. which is fucking terrible. Yeah, right? they're awful, ridiculously good. Yeah, great, well, but, aren't we? But they're <laughs> causing havoc, derby. Just doing matches. I hope he succeeds. I really do. I like Rooney. I think he gets a lot of not 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 a lot of stick. Almost a lot of indifference by some fans. who like he's all right. He's all right. <laughs> that's how spoiled. We've yeah, been. that's it. He was all right. He's, he's, top, not, he's not on our wall. He's not on our wall. Do you know what? As well, how many people actually bring that up? None. No. How many people go? Where's Wayne Rooney? Do you think like, it's because he's a scouser? No, I don't. Th I think it's because of the little dalliance with Sir when he nearly left. Yeah. Um, True, I forgot about that, yeah. Uh, and, yeah, I think some people are a bit... And also there was the, the, the sort of second time went a bit with Chelsea as well, where it looked like he was going to go as well. But I don't know, yeah, I think there might be no one to that. And I think also he suffers a bit with, oh, well, he's not as good as Ronaldo. <laughs> What's that mean? <laughs> That's so... Yeah, bad. I know it's nonsense, but I've seen that argument being made when Ronaldo was better. Oh, in that case, then, are we going to say Bobby Charlton's rubbish because George Best might have been better. I'm not saying he was, but is that how you're doing it? I know, that's why I said I'm not saying that, but are we Whoa. are we gonna do you know what I mean? <laughs> Dennis Violet, rubbish. Let's Duncan was better. Absolutely mental what? football opinions with Jay. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that might that. be a good show, you know. My own no, my if, own if, if it's gonna be mental football, football, opinion. football opinions, it has to be your show, that one's <laughs> and I don't even want to say out loud some of the opinions he's given me over the last six months or so. <laughs> I'm not gonna do it. <laughs> And what thing is you stick to your guns as well? That's what annoys me about you. Like it's true. It's not. Is it? I can yeah, prove it. it. All right. Well, I'm not arguing with you again. We've, I've learned my lesson on that one. We'll discuss this later, John. I've, don't I've, worry. I've seen his arguments on uh, Twitter. So Stay don't argue on Twitter. I don't know. Well, it's well, not <laughs> debating. Sorry, I should have show said. people where they've gone wrong. <laughs> Hard debate, mate. I'm fucking loving my thread about 
calling up. Imagine this had been last season that I decided to do it. I'd have had two or three fucking slides in the thread. Do you know every time Liverpool lose, the on the phone of Fergie one? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it, it, it is mad, though, isn't it? Like, I've never seen anything like this. Really? You like, did it in my season. No, but it wasn't. <laughs> we didn't lose five on the spin at home. Or whatever it is, or five out of six, or whatever. We've it's drawn three it. fucking games, nil nil. Juan was a dead rubber. The second was against Chelsea. I, correct me if I'm wrong, Jay. Haven't fucking lost yet yeah. with two colours manager. Yeah, yeah. And the third was, 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 a shit was game. played in the in yeah, the, you know in the fog. underground. <laughs> um, so yes, three nil nils. It is bad. It headline. is bad, but we're not. We at no point last season did I or you or you say this is the greatest Premier League team I've ever seen in my life. No. The scouts has literally spent 12 months telling us this. Not only that, they went through player by player. Yeah. He's the best in the world at yeah. this. He's the best in the world at this. He's the best in the league at this. He's the best. Like, for every single one of their players. And then they lose one centre half and they're like, well, you're not very good now. Yeah. <laughs> and like, I hate, I don't want to keep repeating myself, but we lost Yap Stam, who's the better defender, best defender I've ever seen. And we still won the league in 2001. So, and he played 15 games, but he missed most of the season. So this whole thing of like, oh, well, it's just because we lost Van Dijk. Well, it's, you know, has that stopped Salah scoring? Has that stopped Mane scoring? I know Salah's got quite a few goals this season, but obviously he's, you know, he's not been as prolific of recent years, uh, recent weeks, sorry. So, yeah, it's just weird. It's weird in Alciago Alcantara. I don't want to make this all about scouts. So it won't go on. But Alciago's just like, it's been part of this absolute horrible run. The thing is that they, he altered the way they play a little bit. I was jealous when they got him. Yeah. I was, I was like, yeah. we should I thought, him. oh, we might take him to the next level yeah, because he's a very good midfielder. Yeah. But the thing is, they don't hold possession in midfield. They hold it in the back line and get it forward. And I think because he needs that extra step in midfield, it's dysfunctional and it's it's fascinating. And I'm I'm loving watching. And I actually am loving yeah. watching and, and fucking you know, looking at the table. I thought you'd say that, course. did you? Of course. For the right it reasons. Wasn't yeah, yeah. Shade and Fraud, whatever you call it. Shade and Fraud. Shade and Fraud, yeah, thank you. Mint. <laughs> Loving it. Just because I think he's, he's an excellent technical player as well. Like his fundamentals are fucking mint. And it's a shame to call him shit, but he's he's affected that team in a negative way. And sometimes you're just the wrong fucking fit. Um, Ross Murphy in the super chat says, Let's start a petition to get Rooney on the wall, laughing emoji. I don't think yeah, I think that's a reasonable request. Uh, Lee New says first game was a one and I'll guarantee you you won't get it. So there you go, a one. Well, does, are you saying that it doesn't fit the the algorithm, or are you just being <laughs> the, the algorithm? Yeah. that is it's your not really mind. Algorithm. It's not. It's just <laughs> you guessing. That's not an algorithm by any stretch. Or, <laughs> or are you saying that you just pick someone random like Dong Fang Zhao to be a dick? Well, let's, one of the let's academy, uh, let, have a academy. guess. Go on, give it so a decent. First guess. game is two thousand and one. Yeah. Go on, John. You can play this as well. Oh. Let's all play. Um. 2001, I'll go with... Fuck it, Carrick. It's not going to be Carrick. It, oh, right, yeah, it could be. But he'd have, to, he'd have waited a while if it was Michael some Carrick. Have, some no, no, I mean, it's not, you know, fair play. Yeah, that's a fair point. Um, I'm going to go with... It's not going to be fucking Jemba Jemba. It's All right, I'll, I'll go with John O'Shea. Uh, Connor Farrell mm. says, I'm from Dublin. Just QPR 4 0, Falcal debut was my only game attended. Dale Blin blew my wine, mind that game, even. So simple and intelligent, my favourite since. Who was it that? Who did you guess? Sorry, John. I, 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 I was thinking someone ex, um, you know, not going to be like obvious, but yeah. my mind's going a little bit blank, and I'm just going to go and try and say Skulls, not it? Skulls. Yeah, fair he enough. Went, he went blind in the middle of that. Still. Did the business still came back and won loads of times. Lean in, no, waiting for it. If it's Heinz, yeah, a lot of people say Heinz in the comments. Heinz, yeah, that's a good but Heinz was player of the year in 05, honestly, so that's, yeah. that makes sense. Alan Smith. It's Alan Smith. That is his, that's what he said. Alan Smith. Hmm. It's a shame of Alan Smith. Wasn't yeah. It? Wasn't well, quite was. the player you wanted him to be. No, there's a lot to like just, about it. He was a grafter. Yeah. But it technically wasn't on the same level as every fucker else in the team. No. They tried to make it work with him as like a defensive middle and all sorts, didn't they? There was a game where we played him up front and he pressed someone and fucking hit this keeper with a two footed challenge. And I was like, I love that crazy ass. Didn't he score the opener in the 7 1 or our first goal in the 7 1? He scored in that 7 1. Yeah. I don't know if he got. Did he get two? I can't remember. I know. He's definitely. Carrick got two. Carrick got two. You may have got one. I think one. Ronaldo got two. Ever got one. Yeah. 100%. He came on a sub, didn't he? Yeah, and got off. It was, it was a shit shot. <laughs> Do you remember the atmosphere for that game? Mate, may on. or may not have assaulted the copper outside. 
He didn't. We right. don't advocate that sort of violent behaviour towards well, the authorities. I did, but it was an accident. Right. How would you accidentally assault I'm a cop? Right, right. Um, yeah, let's not go there. <laughs> you squaddies, mate. You're the worst. <laughs> Honestly. I was with two army mates. I know, you are. <laughs> I was Honestly. outside the Trafford. Do you know, do you know what? It's, it's unreal, isn't it? I was outside the Trafford and there was the taxis was unloading the Roma fans on the fucking crossroads outside the Trafford. Yeah. And they were getting... I wonder why they were getting twatted. So yeah, so if you don't know, it had gone off royal, and like United fans have been stabbed and stuff, haven't they? In Rome, Rome, mm. Roma police as well have battered United fans, and I think there's a lot of United fans who still never got any compensation, never got any anything. I know apologies don't make up for, but any got any sort of recompense from Just the authorities? Like, yeah, yeah well, now we can Rome, do about that. Get stabbed in the ass. So yeah, they, shouldn't have come to Italy. To say yeah. it. Yeah, that's what the attitude almost is, and it's just disgraceful. So it went off on the forecourt. Went off basically all the way down Warwick Road. It yeah. was fucking mint. Yeah. Right? If for want of a better word. And when you got into the ground, because it had kind of been a bit fucking tasty outside, oh my goodness, the atmosphere. And we knew it was behind one. Was it 2 1 down? I can't remember. Didn't they, did they score first in the 7 1? Am I just completely no, missing one? They didn't score first. I don't think so. No. Was it 4 or 5? Was it, did Alan Smith score our first goal joke? You I remember? Think it was Carrick. Because I think it was a fucking pass into the corner. He you know just what? didn't score enough of them. Go on, you can tell us this little story so it, while I have a look. You're going down Warwick Road. It's fucking going off left, right and centre. Walking down it's, the Warwick it's, Road. It's gone off. I think they had tier two of East Stand. And I'm in the bottom of K Stand. So it's gone off on the fucking forecourt. His police yeah. horses giving fucking licks out uh, all over the show. Got inside the ground. And he's like, oh, just a whistle inside yeah. the ground. And it's fucking mega. And then we oh, just start right. playing Carrie, Carrie got the first one. some of the most out fucking standing football. I, that might have been one of the best performances from a United team. Because Roma yeah, weren't right, Daniel you know, De Rossi. It was 2 1 from the first leg. Totti, oh, Totti wow. scored their goal, didn't he? Was so it goal? No, needed, it was De Rossi, sorry, scored their goal. We needed fucking goals. We needed loads of them just on the off chance that they'd score because the away goals was going to absolutely fucking bum us. I so think, we needed loads of goals. Do you know what's meant about this? Is, is our bench. Right, see if you can guess who's on our bench. Chris Eagles. Oh, he's got one of him. Give you that, son. Right. Straight in with that. Chris Eagles. I'll give you a clue as well to one of the other ones. You mentioned him earlier. Dong. Yeah. <laughs> wow. This is madness. Right. Is the polling goal the keeper? Yeah, right. you got that. So you, there's one. Evra. No. Well, yeah. Sorry, I've just got the, the subs not used. Sorry. You Forget Evra. I'll tell you what. Right, you've got Evra. You've got, yeah, name them all then. Name all the subs. Evra, Dong, polling goal, Chris Eagles. Yeah. Uh, you should get one of them. Eins are started and Evra came on, uh, correct? Yeah. That means... Where's Brown? No, he started. He played. Who was at centre half? Um, the way he looks like was set up here. He's actually Heinze in in centre back in O'Shea at left oh, back, okay. swapping for uh, Evra. You you, Fletcher you started. I think. Should get one of the subs. Fletcher started. Uh, yes. I want to say Ollie, but yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm oh, thinking then. Yeah, so it's like, How many more subs? Is it two. Uh, so there's two. Yeah, there's two subs you've not got. One of them, you, one of them you might get. The other one, I, I'd be amazed if you got. Hmm. I'll give you a clue on the other one because you never. I, I think it's too too niche. He's a defender, and he ended up. I think he went to Hull. Is it Eckersley? No, you're in the right sort of. Kieran Lee. So, oh, you're close to another one. The other one. You're close to the other sub with what you just said. Hmm. So it's not Kieran Lee. Oh. It's. McShane? <laughs> no, mate. Do you want me to put you out of your misery? Yeah. Because obviously I'm yeah, getting people getting annoyed. And it's like, yeah, Kieran Richardson was the other sub. And wow. the unused sub was, I think it's Craig Cathcart. Wow. Yeah. What a mad bench That's, for an unbelievable performance. I know. It's like, half the bench is like, probably got about two appearances between them. Yeah. <laughs> Fergie was a fucking G. He was, was one, eh? Just imagine that now. I bet, imagine that was on Twitter now. People are going, well, forget this. I'm not even watching this. <laughs> Two yeah. one down. Look who we've got on the bench. Craig oh, Kafka. Right. May as well give up. Well, hang on, what was the 11? So midfield was like Go Smith, on. Carrick. Oh, no, Smith I, I think front. Smith's up front, mate. Yeah, he might have been up front. Right, so yeah, you've got... So it's Rooney, Ronaldo and Alan Smith. Yeah. Midfield yes. of Carrick and yeah. Fledgend and... Yeah. It's he's got to be on your wall. Skulls. No, he's in the right in the corner. Oh, Giggsy. Giggsy. Give it Giggsy to end the season. And then defense was O'Shea, Einzer, Brown. Is it Rio? Yeah. Um, with Van Sarinet. 
Yeah. So, I mean, it's just, you know, when we're saying like, oh, look at that team, there's like literally seven legends in the starting 11 <laughs> and one of them just come, two coming off the bench. So it's not that weak. No. If we're being brutally honest, you've got one of the greatest strikers we've ever had coming off the bench and you've also got, Wayne Rooney. arguably, yeah, <laughs> yeah. The, the greatest left back we've ever had on the bench as well. So we can go like on about the, the Dong Fang Zhu stuff, but we've, it's not exactly a weak team. And also that Roman team isn't a vintage European team. It's a good team, but it's not like 94 AC Milan. No. Do you know what I mean? Mint. Mint. Those were the days, weren't they? Hey. You know. I wish it was more like that now. I know. Hey, now we're well, then again, we losing saw... our marbles over a nil-nil draw against Sociedad in the Europa. Oh, God. Europa. <laughs> oh, no. We didn't even know what that was, did we? When we, were... when we were in it in the 90s, it was, like, good. <sighs> now it's just, like, detention. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> After class, Still... yeah. Still take it out. I, I can hear mumbling in my ear. Say it a bit louder, son. Go on. Say it again. Again. That's more like it. See, bit of a. We're going to wrap up soon. Um, you're racing Milan twatted us. Right. The problem with that one though was just the injuries. But the home leg. Um, the home leg. Oh my god. The home that leg. That goal of Wayne Rooney's. It's underrated that because we didn't oh. win anything because we got knocked out in the second leg. People forget about. We got Adola. twatted. Was it three 0 away? I think it was, but. I, I was knew, it wasn't it you mate? Drove. Wasn't it you mate? I couldn't get a, I couldn't get a flight, and I knew, me and Ben was going to drive. Imagine how long that drive is to it, Milan. It, it's about from where 20, from Manchester were you away? No, twenty eight hours. Yeah, Manchester. Oh, wow. It's about twenty eight hours. That's if you drive non stop. So realistically, it's what about three days? We're going to be doing yeah. things like this though when fans are allowed back in on this channel. Well, you know we are. What driving to Milan? Stuff like that. We but, are. Top was a game when we go. Yeah. <laughs> Not yeah, we'll just go down there. <laughs> what do you mean it's not game? Be proper at <laughs> you. You'd have been away for a week just to drive him lad. Sorry, in the Skoda. Yeah, in the Skoda. Uh, John, just for a wrap up, where can people find you? Uh, the OGS effect on Twitter or the United Way on YouTube. United Way, we'll stick a link in the description. There you go, Carl. Stick now. Make sure you check out Johnny. He likes to have a rant, John, without slagging off everyone and everybody and I being try a to bit be sensible. Yeah, being just incendiary for the sake of it, which is why we got him on because we like his stuff. Um, you'll be back here next week, won't you? Before you're not here this Sunday, are you? Get that in now before people start going Wednesday. <laughs> yeah, listen to that. Still oh, do it anyway. But he's all right, don't worry, he's just be at home. Um, but we'll have me, Joe, and oh, it's me and the two Joes this weekend. Oh, yeah, McGrath's going back in Ma it. McGrath back by, I would say, popular demand. It's a bit of a stretch, but he's back. He's back. <laughs> <laughs> I'm only joking. Uh, he's giving back. We'll also, uh, Adam McCullough giving us his reaction um, and all the usual build up and stuff. So make sure you're here for the watch long. Make sure you check out John. Make sure you know where to find him. And also, make sure, I don't even like doing this because he doesn't need it, but we'll do it anyway. Make sure you check out Ruth Van Nistelrooy interview on Reels channel next oh, yeah, week because you won't know about that. <laughs> I know, like I don't know. That's what I mean. I don't know why you need me to plug that because it's going to be what's everywhere. Insane. But Do you realise that there's there's things that are popular yeah. and then there's things that involve Rio Ferdinand, right? When we do our podcast, um, there's about thirty newspaper articles on the back of it. It's mental. It's actually insane. It, I, I'd be actually probably scared to talk if I was real because it, the papers make headlines from things you say. Yeah, definitely. It's easy, it's easy news, isn't it? Like, because no one's really going to know what Rio knows. Journalism's and, dead, mate. Yeah. And it's just, here's it's, what that guy said on something else. Yeah. I seen one. The other, Chucky told me a story and I seen he did a podcast and he did something about Noel Gallagher giving him penguins and it's in the Times. It's in the <laughs> Times. But, and he told me, I remember telling me because Noel Gallagher used to clean his car when he, when he was a kid, when Noel Gallagher was a kid, obviously. Um, and he used to say, like, I give him chocolate biscuits and he like penguins. And he's done a podcast now, he's starting a podcast, and it's it made the, like, the Times newspaper. Like, Noel Gallagher used to get chocky bickies off chocky or something, like penguins and stuff. Slow week for them, was it? Yeah, but like, <laughs> it's mad, but that's the world we live in. People must read it, that's why they do it. Do you know what I mean? It's mental. It is mental, but no doubt when Ruth and Mr. Roy says something. He's got to say something. So, yeah, for me, it's really interesting trend. I ate the, what's your favourite goal? Yes. What's it like playing for United? Oh, Just, just boring set questions. fire to yourself. What are you fucking talking yeah. about? I, I like trying to find like because we, we've done one with Sado Barahino. I think it's coming out this weekend. It might be out next week. I like things like that as well because he's a fascinating guy and he? he looked at his career and it was sort of going like that. Then he had sort of well, 
I wouldn't say fell off a cliff, it's a bit harsh, but you had a lot of issues and mm -hmm. it didn't work out. So what, what, what happened? What's the ins and outs? What's this story? Is this story true? Because there's a lot of publicity mm -hmm. or p news about certain things and it's always good to get that perspective. And, it, you know, look at someone like Sarah Sarah Benarino. This is a guy that was banging him in at one point in the Premier League. Do you know what I mean? So... So yeah, I like, I like Ravel one was mint. Yeah. I love that one. Yeah, I love that as well. It's like, and we've got a Ravel interview coming up on our channel soon. Um, but that, again, you know, a player that everyone's got a comment on, everyone's got an opinion on, everyone thinks they know about, but you don't until you speak to the guy. So let's hear from him. So it's always good when you get those players. Don't get me wrong, I can't wait for the rude, the rude one, but some of the other players you've had on I'll be watching. Oh, yeah, like, you know, He's having a chat with like Lampard about coming on and stuff like that, which you know, that's going to be fascinating when that gets yeah. to come on. It's just like he's one of his best mates in football. So when you, when it's your mate doing it, I think when it is real, asking the questions and not some journalist that you don't know, you know, I think you open up a bit more and yeah. you relax, aren't you? Like it's a lot we different. We need to do them in person. We can't wait for lockdown to ease and we can start doing these in person because you know. If I'm critical on myself, I've fucked a couple of these interviews up a little bit, or at Go least on him, I? just because I, you can't tell us. You have you finished talking? Oh, I hate or? that. I hate Zoom. Yeah, I mm. hate Zoom interviews. I because you like. I know what you mean. It's like I'm not saying you fucked. I'm saying I know what it's like when you're Zoom. Is that the end of the, the story, or do I need to prompt him? Do I need a follow up to ask a follow up? Yeah, it's just horrible. No, and dead air, yeah. especially because you know me and Joel Rio haven't worked together that much yeah. as well. So when it's in a you know this kind of format. This body language, like I yeah. can see you lean into the mic, I can feel like you're about to speak, and it flows a lot, a lot better. So I can't wait to do them in person. No, we, you know, we were saying this as a channel when when lockdown is probably over. We'll start doing more stuff in the studio as well because it's just our hands are tied, and, and obviously we're going to be at the games and doing stuff there. So make sure you check that out. But no, I look forward to seeing that with Rudy Star. I might give you a, a card to read out from him, from <laughs> me, <A> little poem. <laughs> what are you looking out for? What's wrong with that? God, it's not being weird. Um, make sure you <laughs> check out John. Make sure you check out Stay. Make sure you check out Stratford Paddock. We'll have the watch long for the Derby where United are going to win. Give us your prediction for the Derby scene you're not going to be here. I think we're going to scrap it 1-0. Uh, do you think now? Are you doing the thing of you say this because you, it's, you've got a, a, a thing, haven't you? What? What's the thing that you did when we was on Sky that time? You went, I always say this because when I say we won't, we don't. Well. Even though they don't believe it. No, I think... Do I you genuinely believe that? No, all right, right, here's what I'm saying. I think we can win 1-0. Right, okay. I don't know if we will. Right. It, obviously, it depends on how we fucking turn up and how you, how you handle a bottle and all the rest of it. Loads of reasons. Loads of things yeah. have to come up. You know, you've got to make City favourites. They're, they're in unbelievable form at the minute. 21 fucking wins on a bounce. It's good, isn't it? It's, it's amazing really what 1 billion quid does for you. Exactly. Um, John, final your prediction for the derby? Uh, I'd take a nil nil to be quite honest with you. Um, but I'll go for 2-1. Two one one no, I'll take either of them. I'm with you. I think we might scrape one now. I'm feeling I don't know. Maybe it's blind delusion, but I'm feeling optimistic. Um this has been House and Brew. Make sure you hit like, share, and subscribe. Thanks for watching.